Hello, my name's Nick Majerison. Thanks for tuning into the show. So, do not misunderstand the headline here. Do not misunderstand what I'm saying to you. I'm not saying to you, I believe maybe out there somewhere far away there are aliens. What I'm saying to you is that I've been told by the guy who walks around on the moon in his history for 37 years that's what he did he wandered around on the moon nasa at the highest level that's who he worked for uh, so the first thing we did listen alex has great contacts at nasa mm. uh senior producer alex we lined up a call we're desperate to get nasa to comment on the situation and uh, this is maybe a few hours after uh what had happened yeah. with edgar mitchell and we're stunned both of us are stunned i'm stunned uh when you hear the full interview at midnight uh with dr edgar mitchell this will contextualize it you know you'll understand that this is a guy, you know, he's a meat and potatoes guy. That's how he describes himself. No nonsense. Yeah, he calls a spade a spade. He's not a UFO nut by any stretch of the imagination. It's not his main area of concern, is actually another quote from it. And this is an interview I've listened to over and over again, the one with Edgar Mitchell that will be coming up. Uh, so we thought, well, let's get, you know, someone from NASA to respond. Uh, that'll probably be an easy deal. They'll just go, oh, yeah, you know, yeah. fine. Load of nonsense. Yeah, yeah and right. someone will come on. It'll be great. It'll be easy. It'll be a dead easy thing to do. So we put in this call. Public affairs. Hello, my name is Nick and Jerison. I'm calling from Kerrang Radio, and uh, hopefully you are uh, from NASA. Yes. Hello. Listen, I'm just ringing because uh, I want to set up an interview with someone. I've been talking to. Uh, I do a radio show here in uh, in the UK. I've just been talking to Dr. Edgar Mitchell, who's the sixth man who walked on the moon, and uh, he was talking to us about aliens and uh, the fact that they exist. He said that. Yeah. Okay, so what do you want me to say to that? <laughs> well, I don't know. I mean, you know what? I wanted to get someone from NASA on the show and uh, and have a response from uh, from NASA, you know, because it's quite a big story. That an astronaut said that they were aliens? Yes. Uh, hmm. Well... Uh, that may be, uh, huh. I don't know who would respond to that because I, I don't think anyone's going to have any, uh, there's no concrete, I mean, you, you're telling us that's what he said, but we don't know if he actually said that. Okay, well, we've got the recording of him saying it. That's why we wanted to talk to someone from NASA. It's possible to arrange an interview at some point. Um... I can try to do that. Uh, uh, let me see who would be willing to dispute what an astronaut says, if, if the astronaut said it. Can I, can I give you my email? When, when do you need someone on your show? Well, we intend to air the interview we did with him across the UK on Tuesday. Uh, so, I mean, you know, as soon as we can, we want to get someone... Because, you know, we, we want to have a bit of comment on it and a bit of thought on it, you know, because it's okay. quite a big hey. story. <laughs> yeah, let me... Well... Um, let me give you my email because I'm going to have to find out who would be the appropriate person to talk about this. So let me give you my email. Send me the email in writing what, what you want and why, you know, uh, that you have a comment from the astronaut. And my email is yeah. gov. Maybe we can get you someone, if not today, tomorrow. Okay? Right. Okay. Listen, uh, we'll, uh, we'll talk again soon. Thanks, sir. Take care. And we never spoke again. <laughs> Hardcore. <sighs> Where was his denial? <laughs> I, I just love the bit when he goes, hmm. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you've been sent an official... Yep. I got a response. Because I, I obviously emailed the audio over to him to prove that we did have it. Yeah. And I uh, got a response saying, Dear Alex, NASA does not track UFOs. NASA is not involved in any sort of cover-up about alien life on this planet or anywhere in the universe. Dr. Mitchell is a great American, but we do not share his opinions on this issue. Thanks for the opportunity to comment. There we go. And... <laughs> <laughs> it's unbelievable. Listen, we spoke to, uh... We spoke to uh, Edgar Mitchell at the time about his personal safety and, and going on record in the dramatic style that he did. I checked he knew he was on air. You know, we've had a few weird things said here and there, mm. off air by people in high places, uh, but nothing that was worth commenting on uh, uh, to, to this sort of extent. I checked, you know, that he knew he was on air 
And I said, are you okay? Are you worried about your own personal safety? He talks about the personal safety risks uh, you're taking when you go on record with this kind of announcement. The full interview is on the way next here on Kerrang.